sure you like that number. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's sit back and let's have a peek at how real TV writers do their daily deal. So we'll watch TV writers in action. Okay, guys, we need to come up with an idea for a new television show. Now, I'm <coughs> kicking around some ideas that I yeah, think are pretty yeah, We know all about your idea. What about the one about the talking car? Okay, not my best. Or the talking horse. That one was funny. Or when Frankenstein's monster moves next door with his whole family. Oh, come on. Like, we all remember your brilliant idea for a show about a nun that flies. <laughs> I'm a Jew. Who knew? <laughs> Dolphin that saves the boys every week. <laughs> or the dog that saves little Timmy from the well every week. It's a lot of heartwarming. Oh, please, so realistic. Will you two stop? Face it, we've all had our share of loser ideas. I know you didn't love my boat concept. You know, the one on a cruise ship. Oh, that was stupid. But look at this. President Kennedy thinks we can put a man on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as dumb as your idea of It's About Time, where people go backwards in time in a spaceship. I mean, please, have some respect for this time-space continuum. <laughs> Listen to the professor. But what would it be like in the future? I mean, might we have cars that could take off and fly into space? Oh, come on, Specs. Cars flying through outer space? You're grounded in reality, man. Hey, why don't we do a show about a young girl who moves to the big city to make it on her own. <laughs> Boring. If we're going to do that, we might as well write a show about a comedian in New York City and his everyday life. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm party today, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. If we base a show on reality, they may decide they don't need writers at all. Just throw seven strangers in the house and let the cameras roll. <laughs> I know. Well, what about using a comic book character like uh, Superman or Spider-Man or even Batman? Oh, holy heart failure, Spec-Man. <laughs> Have you forgotten about the adventures of Superman in the 50s? Face it, comic book characters will never make it on television, much less in the movies. <laughs> How about a show that takes place in the future? How about Western? <laughs> uh, Western, that's a great idea. Like a gunfight at the OK Corral with the Forest Carol. I tell you, if we get him, we have a great Western TV show. Well, the only thing in my future is ordering lunch from the restaurant down the street. Mm -hmm. Oh, now take it easy, Kim. But wait, uh, how would you have lunch in the future? What? Huh? I mean, would it be like an alchemist where you take a bar of lead, Put it into an electronic box, press a button, and out comes a roast beef sandwich. Why don't you just have a show where a guy is walking on the beach, he sees a bottle, he picks it up, he rubs it, a genie comes out, and she makes lunch. <laughs> Does anybody want anything? No. no. What about phones in the future? Because they take it, shrink it down, so it fits in the palm of my hand. I just open it up, talk right into it, no dialing, no wires. Oh, why don't you just make it small enough to put behind your ear? <laughs> that will never happen. Try and be realistic. In the future, instead of walking from place to place, maybe people could disappear from one place and magically appear someplace else. Some kind of fans transportation. <sighs> Fast transporting. I that sounds like witchcraft to me. <laughs> All these <laughs> Come on! What? Oh, nothing. I just like saying that when I order Mongolian food. I'm having the game is special. <laughs> yeah, we don't care. <laughs> okay, here's going to be the pitch. We've got a group of people in a spaceship flying across the galaxy. They've got small phones, instant food. They can disappear from one place, transport, and appear somewhere else. Now, what will we call the show? Go! Damn it, Specs, I'm a writer, not the Yellow Pages. <laughs> <laughs> what if they were explorers, like lost in space, but 
They don't get lost. Maybe something like Star Warriors. That's a great idea. They can have a wonderful theme like dum 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 I'm going to pitch this to Gene tomorrow, see what he said. Oh, why don't you go to Mr. Roddenberry today? Yeah! Oh, I can't, I've got a boat trip. Then, I hope nothing happens. You remember the Titanic. Oh, Kim, you just love your boat story. Why don't we just call you Captain Kim T. Burke? <laughs> just remember, be careful out there. Oh, please, what could happen? It's only a three-hour tour. <laughs> <laughs>